Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to add Elementor form responses in Google Sheets with dates. So I'm an owner of a business and I collect the data of my leads with the help of form submission. And I've created the form with the help of Elementor. So my objective is that, that as soon as a new form submission is going to be done with the help of Elementor by any of my customers, automatically I want to create the record of the response in my Google Sheets with the date of the submission of the form. For that, what we're going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Elementor and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn how to do this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to add Elementor form responses in Google Sheets with dates. So I'm an owner of a business and I collect my leads data with the help of form submission. And I've created the form with the help of Elementor. So my objective is that, that as soon as a new form submission is going to be done by any of my customers, with the help of Elementor, automatically I want to create a record of the form submission in my Google Sheets with the date of the form submission being done. For that, what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Elementor and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. Then a dialog box is going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as Add Elementor Form Response in Google Sheets with Dates. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. Next over here, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account. Account, from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down arrow and these are the folders from which I'm going to select Elementor Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving our name to a workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of Add Elementor Form Response and Google Sheets with dates right over here and there are two windows in front of you. One says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here, trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, what we are going to do is we're going to set up our trigger step for that. Click on this arrow right over here. And for the trigger application, we are going to be selecting it as Elementor. So I'm going to select my trigger application as Elementor and for the trigger event as new form submission as our objective is that that whenever a new form submission is going to be done by any of our customers with the help of Elementor automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response okay and to connect Elementor to Pabli Connect Pabli Connect has provided us with a webhook URL with the help of this unique webhook URL we are going to connect Elementor to Pabli Connect by following the steps given here below in the help text firstly I'm going to copy this URL from here after copying the URL I'm going to open the form that I've created with the help of Elementor as you can see right over here this is the form that I've created with the help of Elementor. I'm an owner of a business in which I sell coolers, okay, to my customers. So this is the form that I've created with the help of Elementor. I'm going to click on this form right over here. Over here on the left side of the panel, if you're going to scroll down, over here it says actions after submit. We're going to click on it, okay? Over here, plus button is given. We're going to click on it. And over here, we have to search for webhooks. So we're going to search for webhooks. So this webhook, we're going to click on webhook, okay? After selecting the webhook, over here, the webhook is provided. We're going to click on it. And we have to paste the webhook URL that Pabli Connect has provided us OK. And after pasting, we are going to click on this update in the bottom of the screen. You can see the update is provided. We are going to click on update right over here. As we have done that, we successfully added the webhook to the form that we have created right over here. So I'm going to go to the main edit page of my form. So this is the editing page of my form. And over here it says update. We are going to click on it. OK. As you can see, it says page is updated. That means we successfully added a webhook to this page that we have created. So if I'm going to take you back to my workflow over here, it says waiting for webhook response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to do a test submission of the form that we have created with the help of Elementor and we're going to check whether Pabli Connect captures the test response or not. For that, I'm going to open my form that I've created with the help of Elementor. So over here you can see a link is provided. We're going to open this link in a new tab. 
and this is the form that we have created with the help of Elementor. It is asking for the first name, last name, email and the phone number of our lead. So for the first name over here, I'm going to write it as smart. For the last name over here, I'm going to write it as demo. For the email over here, I'm going to write it as smart demo at the rate pablitudes.com and for the phone number i'm going to write in a dummy mobile number after filling all the details i'm going to click on site to do a test submission it says your submission was successful so if i'm going to take you back to my workflow and i'm going to scroll down you can see over here response is captured in our workflow if you go to tally the response for the first name as smart last name as demo phone number dummy mobile number email as smart demo at the rate pablitudes.com with the other details so this means that we fully connected elementor to pably connect okay so now what we are going to do is we want that whenever a new form submission is going to be done automatically with the date the record of that form submission should be created in my google sheets so what we are going to do is as in the response in our elementor trigger step right over here we have not received the date so what we are going to do is we're going to add our action step and for the action application we are going to select it as date slash time for matter by pably with the help of this amazing feature that is date slash time for matter by pably we can format the date or the time according to our requirement for the action event over here we're going to select it as current date as on the date of the submission of the form that is done that is why for the action event we are going to select it as current date and then we are going to click on connect for the basic format for the current date format i'm going to select it as the basic format you can see it says date month and year i'm going to select this format right over here so the current date on which the form submission is going to be done the format of the date is going to be this right away that is ddmmyyy okay so this is the format and then i'm going to click on save and send test request as you can see in the response we have received the current date this is the date on which the form submission is done okay so now what we are going to do is as we have received the date as well as the response with the help of elementor we want to create a record of the form submission as well as the date in my google sheets so we're going to add another action step by click on this plus button and for the action application we are going to select it as google sheets so i'm going to select my action application as google sheets so i'm going to select my action application and for the action event i'm going to select it as add new row and then i'm going to click on connect in order to connect google sheets to pably connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection over here after that it says sign in with google we're going to click on it a new window is going to appear which is asking for a permission. I'm going to click on allow. As this is a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with Public Connect, so I'm going to click on allow. As you can see that we have successfully authorized Google Sheets to Pably Connect. After authorizing, firstly it is asking for us to select a spreadsheet. So I've created a spreadsheet in the name of Elementor Form Submissions Details. So for the spreadsheet over here, I'm going to select it as Elementor Form Submissions Details. Next, it is asking for us to select a sheet. So I've created a single sheet in my spreadsheet in the name of Sheet 1. So for the sheet over here, I'm going to select it as Sheet 1. It is asking for the date of submission, first name, last name, email and the phone number. So these are the five fields that I've created in my spreadsheet as you can see right over here. That is date of submission, first name, last name, email and the phone number. And I want that whenever a new response is captured with Pably Connect with the help of Elementor automatically, the date of the response should be recorded under these five fields right over here. So what we are going to do is for these fields, we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from the previous step of our workflow. Now the question arises: how are we going to do that? For that, we have to click on this field first right over here. As soon as you go to click on this field, you can see these were the previous step of this workflow. As over here, it is asking for the date of submission. We are going to map the date of the result that we have received in our date time format or current date step. So this is the result, the current date, the date of submission on which the form was submitted. I'm going to select this data. As I've selected the data, the data is mapped right over here. Okay. And as I map the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here is going to be updated. Okay. Next, it is asking for the first name. So we are going to map the data for the first name. Okay. So we're going to map the data for the first name. It is asking for the last name. Next, we're going to map the data for the last name. Next, it is asking for the email. So we're going to map the data for the email. And lastly, for the phone number, we're going to map the data for the mobile number right over here. So after filling all the details, we are going to click on save and send test request. 
as we have done that over here we are going to receive a response and the response that we have received is a positive response so now i'm going to open my spreadsheet that i've created with the help of google sheets and i'm going to check whether the record of the form submission with the date is created in my spreadsheet or not for that i'm going to open my google sheets and yes as you can see right over here the record is successfully created in our spreadsheet with the date of submission over here you can see the date of submission is 0806 for the first name as smart last name as demo email as smart demo at the rate pablitudes.com for the phone number a dummy mobile number so this means that this is fully created an automation between elementor and google sheets with pably connect but now for all of you guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to do another submission with the help of elementor and i'm going to check whether the record of that form submission is captured in our spreadsheet or not for that i'm going to open my form that i've created as you can see this is the form that i've created with the help of elementor it is asking for the first name last name email and the phone number so i'm going to fill in all the details as you can see that i filled in all the details for the first name as dummy last name as account 12 email as dummy account 12 at the rate pablitudes.com and for the phone number dummy mobile number after filling all the details i'm going to click on send to do a test submission as you can see over it says the submission was successful so now i'm going to open my spreadsheet that i've created with the help of google sheets and i'm going to check whether the record of this test submission is created in my spreadsheet with the date of submission or not for that i'm going to open my spreadsheet that i've created and yes as you can see right over here the record of the form submission that was done with the help of elementor is successfully created in my spreadsheet right over here for the date of submission as 8th of june 2024 first name as dummy last name as account 12 Email as dummy account one two at the rate pablitudes dot com and for the phone number a dummy mobile number. So this means that we successfully created an automation between Elementor and Google Sheets with the help of Pably Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, I am an owner of a business and I collect the lead details with the help of form submission and I have created the form with the help of Elementor. So my objective was that it as soon as a new form submission is going to be done by any of my leads with the help of Elementor, automatically I wanted to create a record of the form submission as well as the date of submission in my google sheets for that what we have done is we have created this amazing automation with pably connect and this is how we create this automation so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment on below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of pably connect between multiple applications if you have any doubt you can send us email on support at the rate pably.com if you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.pably.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of pably connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching